Jesus Christ, he's dead!
I'm good.
didn't work. Huh? I don't know what you're trying, you bastard. My brother will kill you and all your whole family. Give it up. You're dead. You won't get in here, you idiot. You're too small for me. Hey, you hear? Lucky bastard. seen this lock before. I don't think I can get in.
What happened? A buddy of mine called. One of our friends was shot in Chinatown and he's lying in a street near the square. He needs help. You need to get him and take him to the dock in Oakwood. There's a hospital in Oakwood? He's the one that you took Sam to once. Sure, I remember. So, can you do it? Okay. If you clean up the blood from the upholstery. It's no problem, but move it. He's dying out there. What's wrong with him? What do you think? He got hit by a 45. The second one's much worse off. So we ain't good oh. to take him to the hospital. <laughs> take me to the doctor in Oakwood. Make it quick. If someone don't take a look at oh. him, come on, make it. Uh. Okay, let's go. Well, we need a four-door car.
up here. Thanks a lot. Okay, let's go, bud. We're okay. The doc will be here. Jesus, what a mess. The whole car is covered in blood. I hope Luca has a lot of soap. Is he okay? Yeah, they're at the doctor. He'll be okay. Oh, that's a load off my mind. Hey, he's my good buddy. I owe you one. Well, since you do, could you clean the blood off the seats? The car looks like a slaughterhouse. Hey, hey, don't worry, Tommy. I'll sort it out. Well, I hope so. Ah, shit. Well, that guy sure ain't short on blood. You can say that again. It was like a freaking fountain. <laughs> Yeah, except that water is much easier to clean off a post And yeah, you just wait till it dries. You could donate the blood you cleaned with that cloth to the hospital. Yeah, now it's mixed with soap. <laughs> Yeah, whatever. Anyway, I got a nice piece of work for you today, and it's no big deal to get it. No blood? Nah, don't worry. At the multi-story car lot in Central Island, there's a beautiful sports car. And you just go and lift it. Lux? Oh, nothing special. If you are skills, hey, it'll be a piece of cake. And just be careful that the gatekeeper don't call the cops on you. Okay, thanks, Luca.
tough job, but we finally have Morello where we want him. Now one last step remains. Eliminate him. In his sections of the city, there's theft, robbery, blackmail, illegal lotteries, gaming rooms, and whorehouses appearing all the time. But what's the biggest problem? Drugs? Horseshit. The problem is that we don't get a cent out of it. That'll change as soon as we get rid of Morello. His organization will collapse, and all those small-time cheats, thieves, and criminals will kill each other without anybody over there to maintain order. Today, we can finally remove that bastard once and for all. Paulie has come up with a plan. That's right. What my informants tell me, you have one chance to get this guy. Merle watches his back and almost never shows himself in public. He was everywhere in his bulletproof limo, crammed up like some seashell. But today, he's coming out. He's going to be there to do some socializing with the creme de la creme of lost heaven. And we'll be there to show him something too. Isn't this a bit risky? It's risky, but this is our only opportunity to waste him in public and show everyone our power. We'll do it like this. Wait in front of the building till the end of the show. People will start coming out, so there'll be a lot of confusion. With Morello trying to make his way out, his girls won't have much of a chance to notice us before we hit him. Make sure you don't draw any attention to yourselves, so no shooting. Pull your weapons when you see him. I hope I still recognize him. Shouldn't be hard. Well likes to wear his white suits. Not many people wear them these days. Each of you get a Thompson or Lipara from Vincenzo. Wait out in front of the theater on Central Island until Morello comes out. Then go to it. The performance ends at 9 o'clock, so make sure you're there on time. It should work out fine, so don't come back without his head. Okay, boss. Let's get to it. Vincenzo, today we need some real heavy artillery. We're gonna rub out Morello. Well, I think 600 shots per minute from an old Tommy gun should do the trick. At the same time, we could stick to the ancient ways and use a more traditional Sicilian weapon for a job of this size.
game so much they finished earlier. That's not what
think he's dead? Well, I guess so, yeah. He's definitely dead now. Let's go. Okay, let's go.
So, you killed Morello. That must have felt good, huh? We celebrated. Salieri was thrilled, of course. We ran the whole town, practically. And there seemed to be an end to the bloodshed. For a while, I felt like a king, until I came to a realization. If a regular guy like me could kill the most powerful man in the city, what good was all his power? Hell, if he hadn't been so powerful, he'd probably still be alive. It seemed to me that no matter how strong someone was, there was always somebody stronger to take them out. So where did that intuitive thought take you? Greediness is bullshit. When you have no money, you think that a few bucks a month will be enough. Then you realize that it wouldn't be bad to have a nice car. You'd get a great job in some high-up position, but in actuality, you're thinking about going higher. Before you know it, you want to be the President of the United States, and you want to win the war against the Germans. Luckily, that won't happen. Plus, the whole strategy of watching other people's backs has one basic flaw. The whole time, you have to watch your own back, in case someone else has the same idea. So I thought to myself that maybe I ought to change my priorities a little. Great Bible story. <laughs> Laugh it up. You know where it got me in the end. This. Who is it? It's from 1920. The old man is Don Pepone. The two younger ones are Salieri and Morello. This photo convinced me that this kind of life is poisonous. Morello and Salieri were friends, and they were both commanders of Papone's regime. But in the 1920s, they got Don Papone killed because of some deal. Strangely enough, Salieri still admires the guy now. Afterward, they divided up the city, and each ruled their own part of it. But they started to compete with each other. I ended up being Salieri's instrument of death to kill his best friend to save him from looking Morello in the eye. It occurred to me that my friends and the people I loved were the same. Someday I'd turn to Polly and be looking straight down the barrel of a gun. I couldn't be sure of anybody, above or below me. But you were risking your life every day. Being a sharpshooter for the Mafia ain't no better roses the way you tell it. It's different when you're living it, when you're full of energy and you're fighting for your life with someone who's like your brother. You're just two soldiers who know what needs to be done. And it all depends on your ability to survive. It's a war. The constant feeling that you can't even trust your best friend is terrible. You are alone, and death can come from anywhere. I'd lie awake at night wondering if the joke my best friend told me was really just a joke, or if I should get prepared for my own execution. A person needs someone he can trust. That guy sickens me. He controls half of the bottles in the city, doesn't pay us a dime, and then has the nerve to say he's ending crime in the city. Of course, I wouldn't give a damn about what he says, but him and his whores are trying to expand even into our territory. I have a feeling it's time to finish his political career. With the election such a long way off, we'll have to remove him physically. I don't know, boss. Haven't we seen enough violence for a while? I just have a strange feeling about this. Tommy, we're on the verge of running this town. He's the only thing that's standing in our way. You want him knocked off in public like Morello? In public, yeah. But not like Morello. Remember that knocking off a politician is messier than offing a gangster. We don't want anyone to implicate us. The speculation and fear will be enough for our purposes. So, uh, how are we going to do it? Mr. Sewer has a rally today in a park on a little isle off Central Island. There's only one escape route over a small bridge, and normally it would be a problem, but Vincenzo has an idea. He took a regular army rifle and put a telescopic sight on it, so you should be able to hit him from a much greater distance. You won't even have to be on the island. Where them? You can get a beautiful view of him from Central Island, from the tower of the old abandoned prison on the north tip of the island. You'll have the whole park right in front of you. And with that rifle, 
It won't be difficult to take out your target without attracting too much attention. Well, it doesn't sound like a bad plan. Good. Talk to Vincenzo and get the rifle. Okay, boss. And remember, Tommy, you have to do it from a distance, and nobody must see you. You'll probably only get one shot at this. If you don't hit him immediately, they'll cover him and the job will be ruined. I got it, boss. Tom, I have this for you. It's a sensible, s s spacious, and solid car. Hey, you got some heavy-duty gear for me, Vincenzo? You need to pick this guy off at a distance, right? So I dug out the best weapon for you. The military trains by mounting a sight on this standard rifle, similar to a hunting rifle. I got hold of a Mosin Nagant rifle. It's produced here, but the Russians upgraded it to a marksman's rifle. It's a good, precise weapon. It looks interesting. Well, I hope it works. Well, Tom, take a decent handgun, too. You never know who you might bump into. Ain't that the truth. Thanks. I think you, 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 you like it. Uh, I've never yeah, seen this lock before. You can get into it real easy. I've never seen this lock before. I don't think I can get in. 